Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today's puzzle is called the Hype. Hyperboloid Burr, Hyperboloid Burr, by the Two Brass Monkeys from Great Britain. And it's a, that's not really a classic Burr puzzle, it's a Burr puzzle made out of seven Hyperboloids, or to be exact, Hyperboloid Beloid Beloids, that need to be assembled into a Burr puzzle shape. And in addition, according to the description here, there is also a solution using seven hyperboloids and assemble them in a way that they stick together. The puzzle was designed by Oscar van Deventer from the Netherlands, probably all of you knowing him, and also Naoaki Takashima, probably from Japan. This version, as mentioned, is manufactured by the two brass monkeys. Link in the description, of course, if you're interested, but I have something in addition for you today. And I have two more things to show you today. The first thing is this one I received lately by Kiyi Mo Fangu from China and believe it or not it's a sliding puzzle, a classic sliding puzzle with eight pieces that need to be arranged in the right order. What's pretty cool is it's a speed solving version. Yes you heard right, a speed solving version. Didn't even know that this existed from this type of puzzle. It's prepared here with some silicon feet that it's not able to slide and then these pieces here, this one is not needed, but these pieces here are equipped with magnets to stick exactly where you place them. And if I mix it up to a specific configuration, <laughs> I don't know how difficult this is gonna be, but we will find out in a minute. I need to arrange them one to three to eight. So let's just see how long it will take me to solve it. Oh, I'm completely messed up here. How to get it over there? Ah, like so. Beep, done. Not sure how long this took me, but probably way too long. I would expect someone who's familiar with this puzzle probably solves it in a few seconds. And it's pretty interesting that Mofungal came up with this design because usually they are specialized in twisty puzzles or mainly in speed cubes. And this probably is a nice addition to their portfolio with a speed sliding puzzle. There's also a Klotzky version of this available, I think. Therefore, pretty interesting. In addition, in addition, I have something else for you today. And I think I need to zoom out a little bit to show it to you. And this thing is absolutely amazing. It's called the Square Wave. It's a fidget tool, a gadget tool. So just something to please you. And look at this. Doesn't look this premium. It looks just premium. I think it's also available in different colors. Not sure. But it's not sure what this is. Let's just open this up. As I mentioned, it's a fidget toy. Ah, oh, okay, okay. It's a small cord because you can just play with the thing around. You can play with your in play with in your hands in different orientations, but also hang it. And this is how it looks like. It's a, I don't know, design <laughs> made out of several of the same shapes, these squares, and they are hooked here on the sides. And this enables this amazing tool here. Listen to this. <laughs> yeah, this it enables this amazing tool to make some really cool and satisfying moves. As you can see here, this looks insane, doesn't it? Wow, tell me, tell me one person who don't want to play with this, if you see this, this is insane. This is the horizontal way to play with it. Wow, wow, this is so amazing. And this is the vertical version, or the vertical way. You can see better how it works. Whoa! Doesn't this look insane? Be honest. And you can also hang it from this cord and then it's dancing in your room in front of the window or wherever. Wow! Very, very cool device. Okay, but enough of that. Woo! Now it's time for the puzzle and as usual, if I do a puzzle, 
I use a spoiler break to not spoil you. And this is what we're gonna do now, and then I wanna try to solve this one. Okay, let's get it out of it's box. Hyperboloid. I would expect this puzzle is a rather simple puzzle. They've also showed you some more stuff in this video during the introduction. Oh, I can't forget the square wave. This was so insane, right? Ah, I need to play with it again. So let's just see how this works out. Let me maybe zoom in a bit for you. And a burr puzzle is usually assembled in a two by two by two shape. So, so there need to be two vertical pieces in addition. We maybe try three of them first. Try again, like so, like so. Uh, no. One more time. bit fiddly definitely I think that's the right way to do it here like so and then the last one I need to get in in between here but how to do that without destroying everything it's gonna be tricky oh, come on Come on! It somehow sticks together, but uh, <laughs> but it's not really the correct solution. Let me try again. That's really tricky to get in the last one. Here we go. Now it's assembled. This is the first, must be the first solution. Looks like a classic burr puzzle. As you can see, a two by two by two structure. But in this condition, it's definitely not possible to do an assembly from seven pieces. But I noticed something, and this is what I did. something like this in the beginning. Like here, and if I put the seventh one through here, if this is feasible, then I got a seven piece structure if I can get it together. And what's pretty cool is, and this is mentioned here on this instruction, that it's up, must be precise up to 0 0.03 millimeter to be able to stick together so it should remain together when it's done oh yeah okay this is snug fit the last piece can i get it in probably get it in never get it out again here we go and this structure is much more stable than the previous one and looks somewhat also pretty cool I mean look at this this thing is incredibly well made so that's the solution let me see if I can get it apart again how difficult this is all right so it's possible it's possible that's a little bit force needed same as for the assembly but if it's together it's a super cool toy to display and to start a discussion unfortunately it's rather easy 
which does not mean it's a bad puzzle, definitely not. It's a super cool and very, very well made puzzle. The difficulty level from my point of view is a, maybe a one would be too easy, take you some minutes to solve it. So I would rate it with a two on my personal difficulty rating scale out of a maximum of five. And that's it for today. I hope you like what you've seen in today's episode. The Hyperboloid Burr, the speed solving version of this incredibly cool sliding puzzle and one of my new favorite toys. Here we go. The square wave. And this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna play a little bit more with this awesome device. And until next time, keep on puzzling. <laughs>